S4, S4 time that we're in. As for the time we're in, you must keep in mind that when the Antichrist reveals himself, as long as peace comes, the uniting of the entire globe under this new world one religion of the Antichrist, which, believe me, won't look bad. It'll look very good. It's not of anything to have to do with the elite that they're intentionally bringing out. You have to understand that the elite, the Rockefellers, the Bilderbergs, Morgan, Procter & Gamble, man, we can go down the line. These people have been working with these fallen angels believing that they're extraterrestrials because they have believed the lie themselves. And on that day, they will die of a heart attack of fear when the reality has come in, the Lord says. But they have believed that they can be gods themselves and suppress human mankind, humankind. That they can keep this technology, this power, this, this life essence of the blood of the youth. They believe that they can live eternally and control all of us. The fallen angels have allowed them to deceive them. They are intentionally being brought out to get people to accept the mark of the beast. This technology that the elite have had for a long time, believing that it's coming from this advanced civilization that they're keeping from us, which they'll be honest with you, it's the same thing with Aleister Crawley or Jack Parsons and the rituals that went open over there at Jet Propulsion, where I used to work, which is right above Devil's Gate Dam Bridge. They opened up a portal that was never closed because all of these contacts, every time you have to contact one of these aliens, these demons, you have it's through ritual. It is through ritual practice and sacrifice. This is not extraterrestrial. This is extra dimensional. There's been many, many, many people, and I wish I knew their names right now, but they have done so much work in this area of breaking down and explaining the truth for people of what is going on. And I strongly believe that the elite are going to be brought out intentionally who were deceived so that the humankind globally will come together and accept this out of this world who will fix all of our problems. They have already indoctrinated us. Presidents, I can't, Roosevelt or Kennedy, I, I can't remember, came, what better than out of this world extraterrestrial thing to bring us all together and unite us you know I'm sure you can get what I'm saying or correlate where I'm coming from or what or what, how he the person who said that and what he was meaning they've already in, indoctrinated you to accept that this is the solution it's part of the reasons why they're telling you the world is round listen guys look up that's water everybody that's water the waters above tower of babel they tried to go to the heavens now we call it the space what did god do he divided mankind we cannot leave everybody the earth is flat the reason why they have you to believe the world is round is that you will believe that there is life out there that is more advanced than you and that we are small and we know nothing and that we need to evolve and we could be gods ourselves. It is a lie. It is the lie. These problems have been created. This delusion has been created. This indoctrination has taken place so that you will accept the mark of the beast. That you will accept the solution to all these problems and peace on earth. Now, three and a half years 
into this, when the Antichrist has come back, his true intentions will be known and complete destruction will come. I believe we will be raptured out when the Antichrist reveals himself or right before the, we go into the final three and a half years of the seven year tribulation. I believe that we will be raptured out and these people will be left here. And they might even use an, it might even use an excuse. I actually more likely lean towards the rapture will happen at the very beginning of when the Antichrist reveals himself at the beginning of the seven year tribulation because they will use that to say they needed to be re-educated. They were taken away. They were the problems in the world. And they needed to be re-educated. And then that is a perfect excuse to explain where everybody went. There'll be a large awakening, everybody. Project Blue Bing, it's coming. We're in 2022. It should be here in 2023, guys. 2024, I don't, you know, I, do, am I a prophet? No, I'm not a prophet. <laughs> but I can tell you this, it is right here. It is right here. We are centimeters away from Project Blue Beam being commenced. They, they need, the, basically this war is happening. The food shortages are going to kick in. When people, we have to get a little bit further into some distress of starvation and world hunger. We have to get a little bit further in, a little bit more before people will accept the false peace of the Antichrist, okay? So, yes, civil war, rioting, the military has to come in. They have to get your guns. They can't have you shooting at these things. I, I believe that there are other things that will happen, like martial law. You know, it's the same thing what Henry Kissinger said, he who controls the food and water controls the world. Well, they've done that with the Dakota Access Pipeline and the pollution with the water and the shortage of water and the drought and the fake global warming and everything else. I mean, they've been spraying barium aluminum in the atmosphere for quite some time with soft metals. And that's all tying into 5G and 6G and all that other stuff, which is tied in with the graphene that they're giving you and the vaccines. And this is one big elaborate thing. Now, you have to understand their intentions are not to uh, necessarily kill off the population like that. They want your soul. They want your essence, if you would. Watch your essence, Gelflings! <laughs> they want your essence. I pray in the name of Yeshua that this speech this rant will cause someone to question and start to wake up and deny the flesh and to realize that we need to fear Christ and repent. That we're not here to fulfill our fleshly desires or to be happy. I, that's why I see so many people miserable right now. I hear so many people, I wish things would just get back to normal. I wish things could just go back to the way they were. You guys are of the world, you're not of God, and you should be worried. This is not a time to feel, woe is me, oh, I wish things. That's pretty clear that you're not living for Christ and you love the world. We're called to hate, hate sin and love our brothers. We're, we're, call, we're called to live for Christ, not live for the world and our flesh. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to live our dream and fulfill our potentials. But he does not want us to live a worldly, fleshly life. I pray that this is all made sense and that you can understand that the time period that we have now entered is a time to celebrate for those that know Christ and know that there is more destruction coming. destruction coming and it's not to blame the left or the right
started to be distracted and pulled in and persuaded by these manipulative lies. We are all sinners. We all fall short. It's through Christ alone that we can be saved from ourselves, from the world. The problem is not liberals. The problem is not Democrats, Republicans. Like I said, I don't know what's what. I've never voted. That's not the problem. The problem is the lack of faith, the lack of fear of God, and the lack of repentance. That is the problem. The people are turning to their selfish, wicked, fleshly ways and blaming to justify their sin. <laughs> 